Lord <laughs> Stephen oh Regal oh versus F- Finlay. Oh, oh, this is where the this is where the kick in the belly welly happens, but it's not the kick in the belly welly that breaks the nozzy, was he? No. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, of all the commentary you can do in this match, there is nothing more incongruous than someone saying, yeah, hitting the belly welly. <laughs> they are killing <laughs> each other. <laughs> they are murdering one another. This is uncensored. Oh, Am I right? Oh, man, you see that kick in the, in the belly welly. So Fitvin is a legitimately frightening fucking psychopath. Amazing. He's and, amazing. And, and William Regal has brought him into this company. He's the one who basically said, fucking bring Fit Finley in. He's yes. great. Yes. He's violent. Yep. We'll have a great match. Yep. And this is what happens. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, it's the only branch of entertainment where you can go, let's go out there and do such a good job together. Yeah. Let's work together to make each other look better <laughs> by hurting each other as badly as we can. You can tell that the commentary team are a little bit more like, oh, oh, wrestling boys are here. Yes. The big boys, yeah. fighting boys, the men I respect because they're legitimately hard and not what this Completely. is. Completely. And up to this point, William Regal hadn't really shown this side of his personality. <laughs> yes. Previously, he's been a slightly sort of earnest, map based technician. Yeah. And right. he's doing his, you know, posh thing and he's yeah, waving yeah. and he's looking at the crowd and going, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and they bring in, they bring in Finlay and they just go, Finlay, act like you are Northern Ireland and William Regal represents the British establishment yeah, yeah, yeah. and just just clatter him <laughs> I mean this is uh, Finlay has basically been in Britain the British scene is dying mm. and he's gone over to Germany where um, CWA and, and catch wrestling is still very very big you do did sort of tournaments that lasted a month during the summer so he is working a lot but he's working in dying territories so Regal throws out that lifeline to him mm. now when he turns up in this he looks very different from the Finlay that we might know now yeah. and he's got a big sort of like droopy moustache he's got a horrible salt and pepper shave top long mullet very Germany 1995 he's come straight from Germany with the latest look (laughs) now he's in America and nobody nobody in the audience cares about this match no No one cares but watching it back you go wow in this pay-per-view you are suddenly seeing the past and the future of professional wrestling (laughs) it just happens at a point when no one's into it and it's just they paced each other this is real stuff Stephen Regal, where he's just like, you realise that he is actually handy and he's tough Mm. and he's a good fighter. Mm. And it's just all of that comes out. Regal is suplexing Finlay out of the ring. He does a Cactus Jack elbow off the apron. This could have been an ECW (laughs) and it would be a match that everybody talks about still. And just because it's on this bad show in front of a cold crowd... Nobody talks enough about this match. It is absolutely amazing. They begin sort of saying, the commentators, again, not bothered. They haven't read about anything. The commentators say, well, I mean, they're, they're next door neighbours. You know, they're, they're, they're like, they've worked together loads of times, yeah, I'm yeah. sure, in England, probably. Mm. And someone sort of goes, well, no, he's from Ireland, isn't mm. he? And uh, Dusty Rhodes said, well, it's like uh, five miles outside of London. <laughs> and Bobby Heenan goes, seven. And Heenan is doing a joke. Yeah. But I was like, Dusty Rhodes genuinely thinks Muswell Hill is Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> no, he's been a Kilburn. <laughs> Just absolutely ignorant. They don't get along with each other over there. I think they've wrestled before. There's a lot of animosity there. Regal's come to America here. They don't live in the same land. They, they don't live in no, the same land. No, but they wrestled land. over in re- Europe. I imagine they wrestle each other. Well, Ireland, Ireland, where's Ireland? Like five miles from London? Regal at one point just kicks Finley right in the nuts. And (laughs) Dusty Rhodes did make me laugh because he just goes, oh, Lord have mercy on the common man. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to think that Uh, every time I see someone get knocked in the nuts. Yeah. Lord have mercy on the common man. (laughs) (laughs) Got him now after after that boot to the Ludum Maximum. He got him if he just pulled him out and put him in a situation to pin him. The I mean, Ludum and what? Yeah. If I got kicked in the Ludum and Maximus right now, I guarantee I'd be doubled over to, to for a long time. Dusty calls Jeeves chives at one point. Oh, yes. Now, Jeeves, I don't think Jeeves had any any sort of like longevity. No. I don't know who he was. No. They just sort of go, he's a butler. Chives. Dusty is Chavs. His name is Chavs. <laughs> <laughs> just magic. It's all over the fucking shop. I love it. And Chives, his one thing is he's standing there with a tray of, I don't know, fucking tea stuff. And Finley just walks in and slaps him. And then... <laughs> 
<laughs> and he's got this leather jacket with a sort of metal plate on one of the shoulders. And when he gets into the ring, he just whips it over Eagle's head. <laughs> it's all much too aggressive. Oh, it's so good. Regal taking time out there to soliloquate and repetendo with him. <laughs> <laughs> repetendo. Repetendo. It's repetendo. Uh, is that some kind of musical <laughs> stave uh, thing? Dusty means speak. He means <laughs> he took some time out to speak with him. Soliloquy than repetendo. The Blue Bloods <laughs> run out. They attack Finley and it's a DQ, <laughs> which I was fine about. Yeah. The Blue Bloods are Earl Robert Eaton, who is Bobby Eaton from Midnight Express. Mm. which Regal has talked about and said that he absolutely loved working with Eaton. But the other guy with him is Squire Dave Taylor. Right. And Regal does talk on his podcast a lot about Dave Taylor. <laughs> he, th- he loves Dave Taylor. He's the funniest guy. Funniest guy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I was crying laughing. I was in the hospital. He said, and I just couldn't stop laughing. He moans. He moans <laughs> so much. Oh, it's funny. He moans. He, he, everything bad happens. It's wonderful. Worldwide. Let me tell you, Gene. I'm having an affair with Fergie. And I'm absolutely knackered. I've been at it like a frog on a bike pump. I'm exhausted, you know. (laughs) My favourite Regal story is just something he mentioned on Twitter years ago. And that was that Dave Taylor who was working on the dying British scene, was driving home late at night through sort of like Leeds and Bradford to get to his house, Mm. uh, wherever he lived. But he was arrested by the police uh, in his car and he was taken in for questioning under the belief that he was the Yorkshire Ripper. (laughs) Which is just the the best story. Absolutely enjoyed it. Finlay is held back. Regal, is his nose is all over his face by this point. And Regal gives him a slap that is the hardest slap (laughs) you have ever heard in your life. And it's just the perfect punctuation point to one of the the single great matches of the 90s. Yeah, well, I mean, for the punch that bricks, yeah. Regal snores. He punches him. And I thought, like, Regal just did the smoothest blade job ever because he turns around and then he's, he's he's just covered in fucking blood. He is. But, like, that blood came out of his nose. Mm. Why is it on his head? <laughs> it's so confusing. I was like, Has he bleed? how did he blade so quickly and so smoothly? <laughs> I think that's, that nose is so broken. The blood didn't come out just the bottom. Because of the it eyes. It came out the top <laughs> as well. It's a proper explosion. Pinyard. And you would go through that and you would go, <sighs> get back afterwards and say to Finley, mate, you were absolutely, t- I mean, what a, you were like a tornado. Yeah. Fantastic. <sighs> Shame the crowd just did not give, give a, a shit. shit. Yeah, that yeah, could have been yeah. something really special. Yeah. But I mean, when it comes to great matches, I did think this the other day. I was going through a box mm. and I had a best of Miz. Uh, compilation three three DVDs I mean you know come on but <laughs> there is no best of William Regal official DVD is it not and right? that WWE one they could have put out that it could be one of those things that thank goodness he's gone to AEW and pe- and the podcast mm. and people are now going actually he's one of the greats mm. you know he, he should have been a world champion he should definitely be in all the Hall of Fames and things and it's nice that that's happened but mm. they could have done that if they'd have had him at NXT and they'd have put out best of the gentleman villain yeah. it would have been sensational and yeah. people would go back and watch these matches and just go my god my god the same is also true of Finlay Finlay is an absolute first ballot Hall of Famer in any Hall of Fame I did just I mentioned it in the newsletter but I was watching a uh, Pro Wrestling Guerrilla DVD from 2011 it was a point where Finlay had been released from WWE and he has an opening round match with Kevin Owens so Kevin Steen as mm. he was then and there's just one bit where every Finlay match you watch He'll do something that you'll go, I've never seen that before. And it feels as old as the hills and yet as fresh as a daisy. (laughs) And there was just a bit where they stand apart and suddenly Kevin Steen just cracks him with a slap across the face. And Finley looks furious and suddenly does a drop toe hold. So he drops down and he just puts his legs around Kevin Owens' legs. Down goes Kevin Owens. And he just begins absolutely thumping. (laughs) And I looked at that and I thought, I've seen the drop toe hold so many times and I've never seen it used that you like go that. that actually would work in a fight <laughs> and it's he's so so good you could put this on AEW tomorrow mm. you could put this on a WWE pay-per-view tomorrow and people would just go that match was absolutely unbelievable mm. 